information, the Tennessee Valley Authority will be tearing down the Colbert steam plant and using the land for economic development. The old fossil fuel plant is off Highway 72 in Colbert County near Tuscumbia. It was shut down a few years ago because TVA wanted to move toward more renewable energy sources. Way 31's Brecken Terry shows us how long the demolition will take. Brecken. The Tennessee Valley Authority tells me it's going to cost about $30 million to demolish the Colbert steam plant that I'm standing in. Uh, I watched them build the steam plant the, uh, from, from start to, to finish. Lewis Garner remembers riding his bike down and watching construction of Colbert steam plant in 1955. I even watched them build the smokestacks. Almost 65 years later, he's watching hazmat teams remove asbestos so construction workers can tear it down. Thursday afternoon, the Tennessee Valley Authority took me on a tour of the plant that closed in 2016. All of this material that we can is going to be recycled, so local recyclers, we're going to use local help uh, as much as possible. It will take about 90 people to demolish the plant. Once all of the buildings are torn down, TVA plans on using the 1,300 acres for economic development. What that redevelopment is, I don't know yet. It was just so far, or we're so close to the starting point of this process. I just don't have the ability to look out that far to see what's going to happen with it. Garner told me he's still a little sad to know the 500 foot smokestacks, steel, and large buildings are set for demolition. But he knows it's to help future generations build their own memories in Colbert County. Times change, and we have to think about the environment and, and our health issues, and if Fossil fuel is contributing to, uh, to the problem we're having them. We have to find something else, so he has to go. Removing the asbestos will take about 18 months, and after that, the actual demolition will start. In Colbert County, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. TVA told Way 31 to reduce its carbon footprint. It closed five fossil plants in the last seven years. There are some big items on the agenda for tonight's Huntsville City Council meeting. According